hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel now just about proportionally as empty the patch notes of 36.1 were looking then side event activities actually do look uh, quite busy so let's break it down the main side event is going to be a quest with five parts per chapter each chapter unlocking weekly one energy per step so the base idea is that it's gonna last five weeks every week we're gonna get a new quest and uh that it's gonna have five parts in a quest so once a week we need to do a quest with five parts in it or we can do it at the end of the month however you please now the interesting and weird and cool thing in my opinion here is that four out of the five parts will be gated by specific champions but they're also going to be giving everybody those specific champions as two stars in a form of a login calendar you will be able to do all the difficulties by the sound of it and uh, that does sound quite interesting now here we can see which champions we're going to be getting on which day so they do correspond basically on these weekly schedules and uh, there are in total 24 champions that they're going to be dishing out and the last uh, one two three four 11 days or so basically just gives you gold which are also kind of like a grievant day. So even if you don't log in every single day, as long as you log in a total of 24 days in the month of August throughout this update, you will be getting all the champions needed. But it's going to be kind of cool because I'm willing to bet that I don't have a bunch of these two stars myself because I haven't been the most vivid two star hunter. But I always like getting new two stars. So I'm quite happy about this one. Like you're going to get two star Misty Knight, two star Scorpion, things like that. So kind of cool. I really like that. I think it's a cool touch and uh create where credits do uh it's a cool little new thing now they're gonna be solo events which basically gonna involve fighting with or defeating these specific champions that Chabam are gonna be giving to us but by the looks of it you basically just if you play arena then you're gonna hit these automatically and uh they weekly will give away like uh one cow crystal so it's not like the biggest deal again it's just these weekly events for one cow crystal are kind of more fucked than they're worth but basically you're gonna get four cow crystals from this thing and uh, then obviously the rewards of the main side event here we can see the heroic rewards which we all will be able to do which do include some four star hero crystal shards tier one alpha catalysts and obviously some cow shards as well four thousand of them and uh Again, since we, I always like those events where you can do all the difficulties. Here you can see in Epic, hmm, interesting that I put Epic difficulty here, where in Epic difficulty, we're going to be getting also some tier 2 alpha frags, tier 5 basic frags, some 6 star shards, but obviously, most importantly, most people will be looking at the legendary difficulty that is going to include like 1.5 tier 5 basics. Uh, in total, I think it's about 7,000 six star hero crystal shards. It's not the biggest amount, I must be honest, but there seems to be somewhat decent amount of these next month's cow crystals. And uh, five star awakening gem is going to be in then some six star six stones. You know, here's actually a 3,000 uh, six star shards as well, if you choose to pick that. So you're going to be getting over 10,000 six star shards from this thing after all. So it's not the best set of rewards i'd say but not the worst either fairly kind of like down the middle for most part you're gonna be getting 20 percent tier 5 cc fragments here but obviously most importantly for throne breakers and paragons we do have these solo objectives weekly which in total yet again are going to give away 20 percent of each of the rank four materials so 9000 tier 3 alpha fragments in total and 11400 tier 6 basic fragments as well as five six star signature stones so that's that's something there as well and uh, don't forget that if you are thronebreaker and paragon by exploring cavi q you do get that special milestone which is likely going to be coming back as well so that's going to be like half a catalyst of each yet again and uh let's take a look at the gate keeper crystals this time around i'm actually quite interested in these because there are a handful of champions that i personally also wouldn't mind pulling at all for instance, I would be getting a first time dupe on She Hulk and Misty Knight. But for most people, the most notable champions in this crystal will without doubt be Cosmic Ghost Rider, Scorpion, 
Silver Centurion, Thing. There are quite a few decently good champions. Definitely America Chavez, Dr. Voodoo. But mainly, you know, there will be some lucky guy who gets CGR or Scorpion out of next month's side event camps. So best of luck to, you know, whoever that is. We're also going to be doing the Legends Celebration in the month of August, which is the Brutal DLX and whoever else finished the Labyrinth first, which I think was HQ Sean, and then whoever did the Abyss first. And uh, with those, we're also be going to be getting the login calendar. Now, I'm going to be honest that login calendar is kind of fairly eh. It involves Fire Star Crystal, Mythic Crystal, Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst, and 9000 TFI Basic Catalyst. But again, it's better than nothing, really. And on top of that, obviously, always they do send us out some cap crystals that these legends have picked and chosen. There's also going to be a 7-hour login crystal. And I must admit, these crystals used to be way more impressive. By the looks of it, they have not updated these in about 4 years or so. So they include 4-star hero crystal shards, 5-star hero crystal shards, legendary crystal shards, tier 4 basic or class catalyst, tier 4 basic or class catalyst fragments, tier 1 alpha catalyst, energy refills, units, boosts, potions, and revives. And the coolest thing is that, yeah, you can get units from these and revives and energy refills. So there is certainly still some value in them, but you know, they're still definitely about four years old. They really, really have not updated these just like they haven't updated the red envelopes in many, many years. This event used to be so much more hype than it is, but still getting these are quite neat as well. You can get about three of these a day, basically. So some free units, some free items, not too bad. And they're also doing trade in store. However, Purely objectively speaking, and I do not want to be overly critical here, uh, it, 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 it's a crap trading store. <laughs> it, it's not that trading event massive that you remember from last year where you could get a six star awakening gem or something like that. It's kind of like the most plain version of the trading store where you can trade in a class tier 4 catalyst to get a generic crystal and try your luck again to respin that. But you can only do it once, you know what I mean? Then you can trade in some gold crystals for uncollected gold crystals, level 1 potions for level 2 potions, level 2 potions for level 3 potions, level 3 potions for level 4 potions. So, you know, you can take advantage of these by trading in the items that are more easily farmable. For instance, level 1 revives. You will be having a net loss because you're going to be turning 2 revives into 1 revive. But at the same time, if you have these in overflow, it's a good trade to have just to max out the level 2 revives and so on and so forth. So whenever these events do come around, you know, I do try to take advantage of them the best I can to kind of fill up my stash to the brim. So I do typically trade in my level 1 revives because I know I'm farming level 1 revives daily even without wanting to just by, you know, playing the game, doing the daily events and so on and so forth. And level 2 and level 3 revives are harder to come by. But it really isn't, you know the good good trading store it's kind of fairly vanilla but a cooler thing however though is that they're going to be doing these four five and six star arenas with up to ten thousand six star shards as rewards and also the last sentence halls of healing halls of fortune halls of glory are going to be rotating daily for one week starting 22nd of august till 29th so that's kind of cool you can get some revives potions some gold right so uh, that, that's quite neat. Uh, hopefully, I, I don't know if they have updated these halls, but I highly doubt it because like halls of healing again hasn't been updated for about four or five years, I think. But it's still nice to see them back without a doubt. So uh, definitely the week from 22nd to 29th of August, we're going to have these legends, calendars, trading stores, all of that stuff. So that's going to be a fairly busy week. And uh, other than that, I think it's, you know, it's fine, straightforward event. The coolest thing for me personally is definitely the two stars that we're going to be getting. Who doesn't like to get some new exclusive two stars? I mean, for content, they're useless, but still, it's kind of nice to have those little champions. <laughs> and uh, other than that, it, it's kind of your standard side quest stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it's not, you know, energy free, but still. And we have the Legend Celebration. I was hoping for something more in the month of August, like... Return of Grandmaster's Gauntlet or 8.1 or something else to do since we do not have Balignons to play. 
but uh, at the very least we do have that legend celebration event which hopefully kind of will keep us slightly busier but yeah that is the side event stuff uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about it it's again fairly straightforward no special currency no daily entries nothing like that just new quest every week go and complete it get your rewards and do all the difficulties and that's it right let me know what you guys think and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next